Hi, my name's Annie, you're watching Annie Minis, and this is the Gallotark. Gallotark is a space hulk, a sprawling mass of spaceships, alien infestations, and dark passages, ready to take the lives of any foolish enough to enter its depths. Unfortunately, at the moment it looks more like the Gallo Grey, the Grey Dark, uh, and so in this video I'm going to speed paint the terrain set to get it looking from this to something like this in just a few steps. The Gallo Dark terrain set is a bunch of interlocking walls and column pieces, as well as a whole heap of scatter terrain. The full set assembled is actually pretty intimidating, but as you'll see, you can put as much or as little effort into it as you like and still get great results. If you've seen my last Kill Team terrain video, you'll know that speed and overall feel or aesthetic is the goal here, rather than picking out every detail. Here are the paints I used, although any set of colors that roughly match this will work. I've got a black spray and a dark brown spray, and make sure to get these, which cost £18 each accidentally from B&Q, and whose nozzles immediately break. So worth it. I then have a warm brown, a mid orange, and a bright orange. In this case, Mournfang brown, Jacaro orange, and Riser rust. Finally, a bright silver. This is aluminium from Vallejo, and a black wash. It's made from cheap acrylic paint, water and a drop of washing up liquid. I started by priming everything black and then I sprayed all the walls, the columns and the caps brown, as well as most of the parts that stick into the walls, like the vents and end pieces. The scatter terrain I sprayed silver and the ammo crates I sprayed green, just for some variation. So here's a quick demonstration of the main steps of the walls. Starting with Mournfang Brown, you want to stipple all over the walls, making sure to stay as random as possible. Then move on to Jacara Orange mixed into the brown, Stipple a bit less. Then finally, stipple riser rust over just some of the higher parts. This is not exact, it's not precise, it's just fun. Repeat that across the whole set, which actually doesn't take as long as you might think, and it looks like this. You could probably leave it here if you're going for a really rusty, quick look, or if you have a ton of these sets to do, but I'm gonna add a few more colors to add in some additional depth. Starting off, I'm dry brushing all over with a bright steel color. This kind of brings out the detail and picks out the high points. I used a makeup brush for this as it's huge, so it covers really well, and it's really soft, so it gives a good dry brush effect. Once that's done, I painted every piece with the black wash. Some of them got it a bit too much, but on the whole, it adds shadows and depths to the pieces, whilst also knocking back some of the color, and it makes the walls seem thick with paint and rust. Once all this is dry, there's just a couple of steps left. First, I did a quick light dry brush with silver again, and then finally, I reapplied some bright orange spots of rust using riser rust. Finally, finally, I used Nihilac Oxide to paint in the lights and some of the screens on the walls, just to add an additional color. You could skip this part or use a different color because it's not the most realistic of additions, but I think that it adds something really nice. Then we just had to paint the scatter scenery, which I did using mostly washes, a few contrast paints, and the Typhus Corrosion technical paint. And the set is ready to play. I think that this set has turned out really well. The walls are so characterful, the set is so dense that it really does feel like they're fighting in a space hulk. The board itself looks great too, it's really vibrant and rich in its colour. It is a slightly different size to the old Kill Team boards, which is odd. I don't think it would have mattered if it was the same size, but maybe the gameplay needs it. We'll see when we get start playing some games. Thank you so much for watching this speed paint tutorial. I hope you found it useful for your own set of Kill Team Into the Dark. Please let me know if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you for the next one.